So two bedroom condos in Doral have officially hit around $3,000 per month. And it seems like not too long ago, apartments and condos more specifically were around $25 to $2,600. But those days are long gone. What's going on everybody? Steven from the Vargas team here again, and welcome to another property tour episode. And as you guys guessed it, today's property tour is of a two bedroom, two bath condo in the Doral area, and more specifically the Midtown Doral building and location. Now this two bedroom, two bath in Doral is located in Midtown Doral. We rented it for $3,100. Now, do I believe that this is good value in this current market? Yes. Seeing how prices have continued to increase and now two bedrooms are in brick or trading for close to $4,000 in some cases, and some cases even higher than that. Finding a two bedroom, a quality two bedroom in newer construction with walkability for around $3,000 is getting harder and harder to find. And I believe that over the next course of the few months, and definitely by the end of this year, this is not going to be a price that's gonna stick around for too long. So if you could get into a unit for around $3,000 of this quality, I definitely think that you're doing a good job and by no means are you throwing away money. So let's get started with the property tour guys. And if you're new to the channel, first and foremost, welcome. This is a property tour channel where I showcase to you some of Miami's best properties for rent and for sale. So if you're interested in knowing more about the Miami real estate market, then obviously click on the subscribe button and notification bell as I post a new video once a week. So you don't want to miss that. And if you like the content, help this channel out and help me out by clicking that thumbs up button. All right, guys. So let's get started with today's property tour of a two bedroom, two bath condo in Midtown Doral. So what can I say about this beautiful modern two bedroom at Midtown Doral? Well, for one, it has 1,076 square feet of interior living space, which places it on the bigger side for two bedroom condos, at least in the Miami area. The kitchen is the mainstay of the space. This sleek and modern design has plenty of cabinet space and everything a small family would need. It continues with its contemporary design of dark espresso cabinets and light quartz countertops. Although this design is found pretty much everywhere, I do think it's a very timeless look that never gets old. The floor plan is a split layout, which brings us to the guest bathroom and bedroom found on the southern side. This guest bathroom features an extended standing shower along with a beautiful floating vanity to match the rest of the design. One thing I really like about this space is how they incorporate the tile flooring throughout the entire property. The bathrooms have a more matte finish where the rest of the home has more of a glossy shine, but in the end, it plays very nicely with one another and what you're left with is a very cohesive finish. Moving on, we get into the first of the two bedrooms. This room, I will admit, is a bit on the smaller side, although rooms always tend to look smaller without furniture, so just keep that in mind. A nursery, a kid's room, or a home office are going to be the best use of the space. As for an adult, if you could do away with a king size bed and stick to a queen, and if you're a bit on the minimalist side and don't require too much closet space, then this room should work just fine. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, then you know that I'm a huge fan of natural light and this exposure gets a ton of it, especially during this time of the day when the sun is about to set. But even throughout the rest of the day, you will find that this space is constantly bright, which is always a huge bonus for me. Midtown Doral is close to the Turnpike and a few minute drive to City Place in downtown Doral. So although it is considered to be a bit on the west side, it's easy access to the Turnpike and close proximity to many places of interest have made it a very popular destination for many Doral residents. The master bedroom is more spacious than its guest room counterpart. You should have no trouble fitting in bigger size furniture without making the space feel too cluttered. And of course, you can't help but to notice the light tile flooring and the light exposure Exposure, which will help make sure that this space feels more airy throughout the day. 
The master bath boasts a glass enclosed shower, which makes the space feel more premium. It also is equipped with a floating dual vanity for more counter space and even has a small nook to place towels or to add additional storage if needed in the future. The entire design seems very minimal, but provides a lot of function and practicality to it. And lastly, we have the two closets, which are adjacent to one another. This one being a walk-in closet does offer more space. Midtown Doral is a great place to live. However, I do have to point out that the building itself does not have any amenities, but the retail space found on the bottom floor makes up for it with plenty of stores and services to choose from. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more South Florida real estate content. And if you found the information in this video valuable, then help the channel out by clicking that thumbs up button. I will see you all next week. Take care and God bless.